Your AI agents are useless. They forget everything. Every conversation, they start from scratch. They have zero context and zero learning. I have built over 100 AI agents and I finally found what works, giving them memory. The research is crazy. 26% better accuracy and 91% faster responses. This is hands down the biggest improvement that I have seen. And I'm going to build this purely in Lovable in just a few prompts using MEM0. So let me show you how. Okay, so we are going to create an online dating coach. And basically it's one main AI agent with specialized AI agents. For example, the profile picture of a dating profile. We have a match specialist. So basically looking into, okay, is this a correct match for you? And basically it's like this friend who helps you with your dating life by giving you advice and knowing everything about you and what would be good for you because it remembers everything. So every conversation you have with this AI agent will be stored using MEM0. So the answers will be better over time. So the more you use it, the better it will become. And we're going to use Lovable Cloud for this, but also MEM0. So this is Lovable. And if you've seen any of my last videos, you already know about Lovable, but MEM0 is new. It is a new platform. It's not that big yet, but it's really good. So as you can see here, we have the website here. And what we can do is we can click on get started and you can create a free account. And it works really well. And we also have some documentation about this. And this is really important because Lovable has some built-in functionality for creating AI agents and stuff like that. But external platforms, for example, MEM0, it doesn't have the knowledge about. So what we are going to do is we are going to create one big prompt that basically explains everything. And I will get you through the prompt, but I will also share it in the description so you can use it and you can create this exact same app in just a few prompts. You can also adjust the prompt a bit according to your use case. And I have this prompt right here. And our prompt begins with build me a complete dating profile optimizer AI agent system in Lovable. And we say we have one orchestrator agent and this is basically the profile coach. So this is the main coach and it will basically use the help of other coaches to come up with good answers. So we have some specialist agents. We have a bio writer, we have a photo advisor, we have a conversation starter generator, we have a match analyzer. And all those agents make sure that our answers that we get from the main agent are of good quality. Hey guys, very quickly, if you are enjoying my video and if you are interested in building apps with AI, building AI agents, please give me a like and a subscribe. I really appreciate it. And a lot of more content like this will be coming out soon. So let's head back into the video. So after explaining the different agents we need, we start with the MEM0 integration. And what we'll do here is we have this documentation and because this is something external, I always share a lot of documentation to Lovable so that it knows exactly how to implement it. And if we look at the introduction page, it explains something about stateless and stateful AI agents, but also where memory fits in the agent stack. And what is happening here is every time we ask something to our AI agent, it stores this as a memory. And if we then ask a question about it, we'll then try to receive information from M0 about the question that we ask. So if you are interested in memory, I would really suggest just scrolling through this. And the most important thing that is also a bit of a fun fact about M0 is that it has different memories. So it's basically working the exact same as we humans work. So we have a working memory, which is short term session awareness. We have factual memory, so facts about persons. So for example, has been single for the past two years. We have episodic memory, which records specific past conversations. And we have semantic memory. And this is a general knowledge base over time. So it has these different categories of memory and that's why it works so well. So what we do when using MEM0 is we go to quick start and basically all of this code will get copied and added to our prompt that we are using. So we are adding memories, but we are also searching for relevant memories. We have the output and by copying this, Lovable knows exactly how to create AI agents that use MEM0. So if I now go back to the prompt, you can see here that we have all this code and it is basically explaining when to use what kind of code. 
So we have, so when using Mem0, one really important thing is that we are using users because every memory is user specific. So when it stores something, it stores it with our platform's user ID. So someone creates an account, they get a user ID, and every time they talk with the AI agent, we are storing the memories with their user ID. And when we want to retrieve something, we are also looking for a memory for the user ID. So we can retrieve the memories. We explain something about the memory workflow. We don't need to go through this prompt in detail. But the most important thing that you need to understand about writing a prompt like this is just give it all the information that you would look up yourself if you were to create an AI agent like this. You would also go to the documentation, look into how to actually use this platform. And then with that knowledge, you can actually start building it. And we do exactly the same for Lovable. So we have some other things in the prompt about user experience, the output format that we get. And this is the exact prompt that we're going to use for our Lovable agents. And this is all shared in the description of this video. So you can just go to this web page and you can say copy. We then go to Lovable and we'll just paste it here. And that's it. We can now click. So we just click on generate and we'll now see Lovable creating our platform with our AI agents. Okay, so we have our app and I will get you through everything that I've used to actually make a product from this and get the AI agents working with Mem0. So this is our first prompt and it was basically summarizing the design approach, the features, and then it asked us to enable cloud and we just say allowed. So we approved it. Then it was going to create some database schemas. So we needed to allow for users to log in have some uh, databases obviously to store everything in and it was just going to create this then it asked us to enable ai and when we are creating an ai agent in lovable it will always ask us to enable ai and we just say approve and then it asked for the mem0 api key and i will now very shortly show you how to get your mem0 api key and you can create a free account and once you have that you can see your dashboard here and what you then need to do is very simple. You go to API keys, you can say create API key, you give it a name. So let's say test, we say create API key, and then you have your API key. You can very quickly paste it in here. I did that already. And that's everything you need to do to get your Mem0 up and running. So it's really simple. It will then configure everything. So it will create the login and sign up page for users. It created the landing page, which you can see here. It will then start to create the AI agents. And this took around five minutes, but then we just got a complete backend. We have a multi-agent system. We have our MEM0 integration and beautiful UI. It's amazing how simple it is to create this first version of our product. And I will now just very quickly go through all the problems that I encountered so that it's also a bit quick and we are not digging into the problems too deep. So the thing was we wanted to be able to log in and then see immediately the chat where we could talk with it and we did not need it to choose between different AI agents. So we asked that and in the same prompt we just started to ask different things as well because I wanted to have an analytics page where basically all the conversations of a user were scanned and for example, hey, we see this pattern. You are not open for a new relationship or, or we see that in every conversation, you don't put enough emphasis on what you actually want. So in one prompt, we asked two different things and it just completely fixed it. It made a new table and we just said approve. And now I wanted to make sure that we can actually give images to it. So I think this is the point where I'm going to sign in and show you what the dashboard looks like. So we can sign in here and this is the page where you land. So we have our analytics page here, which I will show in a minute. We can now start the chat and we'll say, hi, I'm your profile coach. I coordinate with specialist agents to help you create a perfect dating profile. What would you like to work on today? So we can now say hi and it knows nothing about us yet. So it won't be able to call me by my name knows what's happening in my life. And it says, hey, what's up? I'm your profile coach. I'm here to help you get your dating profile looking fire. So you can actually get some good matches. So perfect. You see here that we show the specialist that it's using. We can use the bio, we can use the photo agent, we can use the analytics agent. I can now say, nice to meet you. 
I am Luke. And what I will now show you is how MEM0 is actually working in the backend. So we can open the dashboard here. We have no memories here because this is the first thing that we are doing right now. So as you can see here in the request page, we'll see that less than a minute ago, it did a search. So it was looking for memories to retrieve to give answer to our question. So our query is, nice to meet you, I'm Luke. Obviously that is what we asked it. And it did not retrieve any memories here because there were none. We then added memory. So the memory actions was name is Luke. When we now go back to memories, we see here that we have one memory and it's in category personal details and it says name is Luke. So before, when we created a chat, we said something, we then opened a new chat. The agent had no idea who it was talking to. But now when we add a new chat here, so we say new chat and we say hi there, good morning. It says, hey Luke, good morning to you too. What's on your mind today for your profile? So you see already that the agent is becoming smarter. So if we now go back to MEM0, we can say that we can go to the request page and we can see that we did another search. So the query is, hi there, good morning. And it retrieved memory where it says name is Luke because these are personal details and these might be interesting for every question we ask to the agent. So if, for example, yes, let's check my profile picture. I am not sure about it. And we can now click on this icon here. We can get our profile picture and we can send it. It will now use the image agent to scan the image and on proven techniques for dating profile pictures, it will come up with some tips. So it says, all right, Luke, let's take a look at the profile pic. Honestly, man, you've got a great smile in this one. Okay, nice. Direct eye contact is definitely a plus. The yellow green background though is a bit much. It throws off the vibe a little. And as you can see here, I instructed it to come up with some answers that are a bit more like a friend and less as a robot. So it has words like Loki and these kind of words, but honestly, it's, it seems more like someone who is actually trying to help you. You generally want something that looks a bit more authentic and less like a headshot for a business profile. Honestly, this is good advice. Let's now go back to Mem0 again and let's see what happened here. Perfect, so we have some new memories that are stored. So it says user wants to check profile picture and user is unsure about profile picture. So it is now building up a database about this person. It will know everything about it. And if we are using this for 20 minutes and we have a chat with it, it will know literally everything about you. So perfect, thanks. I will adjust it. Any tips? I got a date tomorrow and I'm a bit nervous about it. She seems amazing. Okay, so it says, that's awesome, Luke. A date tomorrow, hell yeah, don't even stress, man. You've clearly got something going for you if she agreed to meet up. So it's honestly, it's pretty good advice. And once we go back to MEM0, we can again see that everything is working. So this was really great. So let me now very shortly show you the problems that I encountered so you will exactly know what to do to fix it. And it was not retrieving memory every time we ask something. And by looking at MEM0 and looking at the answers, we could very simply debug this. And we were just explaining in normal language what we wanted to fix. So I just said, hi, what's my name? And it retrieved in MEM0, we could see that here. In MEM0, it was actually retrieving name is Luke, but the answer from our agent was, I don't actually know your name unless you tell me. Our app is not anticipating on a format that is actually retrieving. And you can see that in cloud. So we went to edge functions. We then went to agent chat and we have some logging here. So we could see in the few logs that we have some extracted memories. So we can click on it and we see that this is the exact output that we are using. So you can just click on copy JSON, you can paste it here. And this is how you make sure that Lovable exactly knows how to work with the data it is retrieving. So we provided it that 
and as you can see here we are almost done we just needed a few more prompts and everything was working this was everything we needed to do to get this up and running so we now were doing some styling so for example when we add a profile picture it was not showing the actual profile picture again in the chat bubble so we wanted to fix that so our last thing is i want the ai to answer the questions in a very unique way and maybe even slang like way not too much but more of like a friend who will tell you what you need to do to improve your dating life i didn't use any more prompts than what i just showed you and it's already working pretty fine it's storing the memories and the more we use it the better it will become so let me now show you the analytics page so when we click here we see the total conversations we see a specific communication style that it has found for us. We see our strengths. So we look like someone who has an authentic self presentation, but we need to improve our photo selection because it saw that our images were not that fine and that I needed to improve that a bit. So we have our preferred topics. So we have our bio photos, dating goals, authenticity and hobbies. And this will basically fill up the more we talk with it. And if you think about this is actually just a software that you can sell for people who need help in their dating life. And the more you work on this, the better it will become. And the more you get an actual product. I think every app and every system that has users that can talk with an AI agent should use this because this is really what makes a difference between just a simple AI agent that is not actually so helpful and something that actually feels like, okay, wow, it remembers things and it seems to get smarter. Thanks for watching my complete video. If you've enjoyed it and you have learned anything from it regarding building apps with AI agents, please like and subscribe because a lot of more content like this will be coming out soon. So I will see you in the next one.